It's a uh, 98 Honda Civic U. It has a leak in the cooling system. The car just got towed in, and there's something leaking somewhere. So um, I'm going to show you how to, how I just, uh, the methods I employ to look for coolant leaks and the device I made to do it. Got a um, air regulator here. So this TD in right here is going to my vacuum slash pressure gauge here and I got this from Harbor Freight so I can know how much pressure I'm putting in the system to regulate the pressure. This goes into my, the million goes into my air, reg, air pressure. And this other end here is going to go out to the radiator. Inlet right there. Thing is with this you have to have a good radiator cap. If your cap is not adequate then you're not going to get a good pressure reading. But because it's supposed to simulate um, well it's supposed to add pressure in here and the cap is supposed to keep the pressure down but this cap is bad this is pretty common these jokers will wear out in the center here a lot of civics I worked on doesn't have to be any cooling in here just need to have a good cap look my air pressure up to you. Got a back there. This is my gauge. I'm going to start administering air. There we go. I'm leaving right there and it's starting to pressurize now. What I'll do is cut the air off. I'll just detach it and see how low, how fast the air runs out. You can see it's falling off. So I'm gonna leave it in there. Raise the air pressure up again. Yeah, put the pressure, put the leak. Again, sometimes uh, what I'll do, um, you might have to put water in there if you don't see anything obvious. That cap's bad. I'm gonna have to put a good cap on here before I can really get a, do a good pressure test. Alright, so I got my pressure system here. I got about right at 10 psi. And um, I found my issue. It's coming out right there by the hose, right at the bottom. So, I mean, there's a couple ways I could have made this device. Um, it's still under construction. I mean, this was something I just put together real quick just to be able to pressurize the system. I do use something like this also to do the AC somewhat. No, it's not. So, <laughs> um, but you, you know, I'm, I'm going to design it to be a little bit more efficient. I could put it like a, like a, like a, not a relief valve, but probably remove this and maybe add it to the front up here and then put like a cutoff in the back here or in, and just stop this off to where I can look at the pressure in the system because if I recall probably when I pull the pressure off it's only the pressure that's bleeding off of the regulator I think I'm wrong but I don't know if it's bleeding off from here or not but I know this cap is bad and this is not completely sealed so um I don't know let me find out yeah, it's not going to work because if I put my finger here, block it off, um, I can increase the pressure. But when I uh, let off of it, the pressure falls off. So yeah, it's from here on back. So I will have to adjust the regulator. Let me cut my air off. So what I'm going to do, um, it makes sense. I mean, there was a lot of coolant, like I see right there, it was tracking down the side of the top of the to the side and on top of the radiator here. So 
I'm going to probably, I don't want to tighten this hose up because obviously it's new. And might need to replace this hose here. No, I probably I can just tighten it up. I'm going to tighten this hose up. Yeah, I can move it. I'll uh, bring it up some and retighten it. Get a new cap, repressurize it, recheck everything after adding pressure. And this car should be shipped off. I mean, the complaint was it was overheating. And obviously, if it's if it can't hold what, 16 pounds for this 1.1 bar, about 12, 16 pounds, then it's going to be uh, pretty evident this is where it's coming from. If I add the... Uh, normal pressure in the system so yeah um this is just about the device i make but i'll um repair it and uh do a quick pressure test and show this that it's fixed i got the uh cap replaced got the hose repaired and i uh, got about uh i got a little bit over 10 psi in there right now so i'm gonna let this sit and uh about 10-15 minutes and if it's holding the same pressure then uh, the system's sealed completely and I'm not going to worry about it and just worry about going ahead and draining the water and filling it back up with antifreeze other than that back in like 10 minutes so it was after 10 minutes I got uh, still 10 psi in here Hoses repaired. Um, one other method I'll probably do, you know, if I didn't have my air regulators, stick the air nozzle in here and just emit air pressure, and it'll expand the system again. It's got to have a good cap. But uh, you know, I'll just use my device I made. It's a little kind of hurry. I mean, the diagnosing the car, but I got all day on this one. So this is done. Yeah, so I'm just going to drain the water out and then uh, move on to the next project. So this is a pretty simple fix. Uh, just diagnose the air pressure. I'm sorry, the, uh, the coolant's ability to hold pressure. And found the leak, repaired it. It's holding pressure fine now. So the original complaint of overheating or losing coolant, and it explains it. So, alright. Peace and air grease.